Um, we have uh, three programs that are in what you would define as the rare disease category. The first we talked about, which was Simpazin. The second one, which is under review with the FDA right now, is Rilazole, which is a molecule approved for um, the treatment of patients with ALS. Um, right now it's available on the market, uh, not our product, but Rilazole is available on the market as a tablet or a liquid solution. When we looked at the ALS population, that's a terrible disease state. About 20,000 Americans, 20, 25,000 Americans have um, ALS. And as you progress through the disease, dysphagia goes all the way to 100% of, of patients. So um, all, all patients eventually lose their bulbar functionality or their ability to swallow. So our product allows you to, um, it goes in the mouth, dissolves without any liquid um, and no extra swallowing, it just is with your saliva and would allow patients to continue taking the medication longer and potentially take the medication longer into um, the disease state than, um, than previously they were able to. Um, our diazepam program is an important um, program coming up as well. So in addition to the Simpazin and the Rilazole program, diazepam we will file with the FDA later this year. Uh, and that is a buccal film that is designed to treat acute seizures. So there's about 3.4 million Americans with epilepsy. Um, a, a big chunk of those patients are on anti-epileptic drugs, where on a daily basis they're taking a maintenance medication. Um, and a portion of that population has refractory seizures, even though they're on anti-epileptic uh, treatment. So with our product, when they have those refractory seizures, rather than taking the rectal gels I mentioned before, uh, they'll be able to place a film into their cheek uh, rest on their side on a pillow just like they would in any seizure state uh, and get the same efficacious level that they were getting previously from the rectal gel. We think that's a very exciting uh, change for these, this patient population and we're looking forward to bringing that to the market next year.